Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. Today's video is going to be about two puzzles that I've done recently that have honeycomb pieces. They're from two different brands and I thought you'd be interested in learning more about them and seeing what they look like in person. So the two puzzles that I have here, it, we have one from Enwood Games and it's Land of Idol or Adele. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but super cute, very whimsy, very like I don't know, extraterrestrial, like you like landed on a planet and these are its life forms, you know? And the second one I have is from the new pomegranate collection and it is a Charlie Harper Hawk Mountain puzzle. And this one is a circular puzzle. Instead of the traditional two by two or four sided piece, you have six sides, so it's a hexagon and it was really fun. So I will show you the two puzzles. I did overhead footage, I think, for both, or at least a little bit, so you guys can see them up close and check them out. But anyways, I'll be busy. see you back here in a little bit, and we'll just discuss how it went. All right, so here is the puzzle. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Oh, cute! It comes in a little pouch versus a Ziploc. That's really nice, and it does look like it comes with a decently sized poster. Oh my gosh, the colors look beautiful. Um, so, let's see what these pieces look like. This bag is super cute. Ooh, I like these. Ooh, I like these a lot. Whoa. All right. Hopefully you can see these pieces, but they are so funky looking. There are six sides, so lots of possibilities, and they are 100% matte pieces, which I also appreciate, and the colors look really nice. They're not the thickest of pieces, but they seem really sturdy, and I'm excited. Um, just to show you an edge piece, you can see that there are distinct edges, but they just don't have the six sides like the rest of them. But we're just gonna do this puzzle real quick. I don't think, since it's such a small puzzle, that it, the extra size is going to hinder me, but maybe I'm lying, maybe it will, we'll see. Um, but let's just get into this puzzle. Here is the pomegranate Charlie Harper box and just a traditional puzzle box. It did have some cellophane on it, but I took it off. Let's see what these pieces look like. So we have the bag of pieces and then it has a nice, I like having more of a small compact poster, you know, just like a little eight by 11. Let's take a look at these pieces compared to the Enwood Games ones. So I put one of each piece next to each other. Hopefully you can see it okay. Um, but this one here is the pomegranate and then this one here is the Enwood Games. The pomegranate is slimmer 
than the Enwood Games. Pomegranate's a little bit thicker, um, but both feel really nice. The pomegranate isn't completely matte. There is a little bit, like a tiny bit of like a satiny gloss. Nothing like super shiny. Both are nice pieces, and I'm sure experience, it doesn't really make much of a difference, but we'll just try this out and see how this one goes. I am back. Let's just go over the two puzzles real quick. Let's start off with this one from Enwood Games. And this one was so fun. The colors were beautiful. I really had a fun time. The six sides really didn't hinder me whatsoever. I mean, it is only a 224 piece puzzle, right? Yeah, 224 pieces. It was a really fun one. I did have like two or three false bits around the edge, but not in the interior pieces. So I just want to note that because some of the edges look very, very similar and they fit a little bit similar too. The cardboard was a little bit thinner than the pomegranate ones, um, but it was an overall a really fun time. Pretty crumbly, but it was a good time. I really enjoyed myself. The next one is the Charlie Harper from Pomegranate. This one was so much fun. And yes, I did have some issues with quality on the back of the pieces and on the edges, but when you put it all together, it still looked really nice. There's a couple spots that looked a little bit raised, you know, like something didn't lie completely fat, flat. But I did like the texture of the pieces, I really like the piece thickness. I don't remember having a single false fit to this one. Um, and it did pick up really well. Normally me and pomegranate, it's like a love-hate relationship. And sometimes I do have ones that are a little bit more of a looser fit. This one I did not have any issues with. So I don't know if it's cause it's those hexagon style pieces or maybe it's just improvement over time or maybe I got duds in the past, but I really enjoyed this one. I love how sturdy the box is and the pieces feel really nice. And the image was super fun. I really like the Charlie Harper stuff. I did one recently that was called Birdcopia, I think it was called. That one was fun. I've also done one that was like the fish one. I've done a few from his line and I really like how the graphic is, you know, it's just birds and such, but it's very geometric and lots of patterns. And I, it was really fun to put together. So those are the two puzzles with the honeycomb style pieces. They made it a really fun, interesting experience. It really didn't hinder me at all. I'm in someone who loves whimsy shapes. So it was kind of like a kind of a mix of both, you know, where it's more traditional, but it's a little bit different. So I enjoyed myself. I had a fun time. I would definitely look for more in the future. I think Pomegranate has a couple more from their new collection. There is one more from Enwood Games, but it seems to be out of stock because it was part of a limited edition line. So hopefully I can find more in the future. But if you have another brand that you think I should check out, let me know down in the comments below. I do have another Enwood Games puzzle that I would love to do sometime. So I think that might have to be put on the docket for probably later this year. But anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.